Okay, let's not forget to close the brackets to just avoid any sort of errors. Okay, now what is this whole thing meant for? What's it doing? We'll look at it in just a while. But before that, allow me to add another code, line of code over here. Okay, now what is going on over here? I'll explain. So first we had converted the image into grayscale right here. And now this is the new part, the new part we have added. You see, VAR is actually MC, the average comp sort of array. This is actually an EMGU sort of uh, matrix array, I think so. You can uh, find out about it in Learning OpenCV book that I provided a link to in my, uh, at my blog and uh, getting ready for face detection tutorial uh, post you'll see over there so actually you see what's happening is that when we run a detector over an image the returned uh, the returned faces will be of this type of mcv avg comp so and this faces is actually an array of all those faces that will be detected from the image now you see now the array of the face is detected is equal to meaning what we are saving here is that gray frame dot detect her cascade. Now this is the function call to detecting faces using her cascade that we had used earlier. Now uh, within the brackets there are some parameters. Now let me have uh, uh, let me explain uh, just a bit. This you see har is the name of the object in which we loaded our har cascade file earlier that we had that the xml file that uh, frontal face dot underscore alt you remember and now they these are the tuning parameters of the detector we will have a detailed look at them uh, after we have firstly uh, debugged our uh, you know, f uh, we have done our first debugging of this application. So just let it be. This is the compulsory part, so just let it be like this. You can change this name whenever you like. Of course, these are the object names. So right now, whatever is happening over here is that you're giving certain uh, parameters to the detector that, okay, uh, these are the settings I want with my detector, and this is the detector that I'm using now. Start detecting images from gray, gray frame. And the window, this is the size, is the window size that will slide over the image uh, for detecting the faces. As I said, we will cover it later on. Okay, now. Now we have a for each loop in the faces array, that the faces that had been returned by the detector. Now for each face we want to do is that we want to draw a rectangle, a rectangle colored green with a thickness of 3, border of 3, uh, uh, for each face that had been returned in the image. So for example, the image had three people sitting sitting in it and they, their faces have been detected. Now this line of code will mark a boundary for each detected face in color green. You can change it to any color you like. However, there is one problem. We are certainly missing some directive over here. You see this? I mean, this is an error. What is this error? Let's try and debug. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know. Let's see what are the 